story time! The King's Ministers There was a lion who was a king of the forest. He was fierce and strong. A king must have ministers to help him, the lion thought one day, and he called a fox. You are known to be very wise and clever. I want you to be my home minister. I thank you for this honor, your majesty. Then he called a leopard and said, You are known to be very alert and swift-footed. You will be my defense minister. Thank you, your majesty. The next to be called was a crow. You can fly high in the sky, so you will be my minister of external affairs. I am grateful to you for this honor, your majesty. The three ministers swore to remain loyal to the king. The lion, in return, promised to give them food and protection. One day, the crow came to the king and asked, Your Majesty, have you ever eaten camel's meat? It's very tasty. The lion liked the idea of tasting camel's meat. Next morning, the lion and his three ministers set off for the desert. They had to travel many miles. At last, they reached the desert. The sun was shining in the sky and it was terribly hot. The hot sand of the sun burned the lion's paws. Stop! Let's go back to the forest. I don't care for camel's meat. The three ministers didn't want to lose this opportunity of enjoying the camel's meat. The clever fox at once thought of a plan. Oh, king! Please wait for a little while and let me use my wits. Off he ran and came to the place where the camel was sitting. Hello, friend. How lucky you are. Our king has invited you to his court. Now, please hurry up and come with me. I haven't heard of any king. I only know my master, for whom I carry heavy loads across the desert. Don't you know our king? He is a brave lion. He has killed your cruel master and now you are free. The good king has invited you to come and live with him in the forest. The camel followed the fox happily. When they reached the lion's camp, the crew and the leopard were surprised. Even the lion was pleased, in spite of his burnt paws. The camel was presented to the king. Get on the camel's back, your majesty. We will return home fast. The lion at once jumped onto the camel's back. The leopard and the fox sat behind him. By the time they reached the forest, they were all tired and hungry. The three ministers looked at the camel with greedy eyes. The lion knew what his ministers were thinking. He turned to the camel and said, Friend, I must thank you for saving my life. You are welcome to live with me in my forest as long as you like. I promise you my protection. The ministers were shocked to hear this. The lion was feeling very hungry, but his paws were badly burnt, so he couldn't go to hunt by himself. Oh fox, leopard and crow, don't you see? I am tired and hungry. Go at once and get me some food. So they went, but not very far. They sat down under a tree to discuss what to do. The fox came up with a clever plan. And back they went to the king. Bowing low, the crow stepped forward first. Your Majesty, we are sorry that we have found no food. But we can't let you starve like this. I am your most faithful servant and you can eat me. It will be my pleasure if I can satisfy your hunger. 
O king, please eat me first. I have more flesh on me than the crow. Then the leopard rushed in and said, I am even bigger. Your majesty, you can eat me first. The camel was deeply moved by the loyalty shown by the three ministers. He too thought that it was his duty to offer himself as food to the king. Your majesty, I pray that you eat me instead. You are all so true and faithful to me. I am deeply touched by your offers and I accept them all. I shall eat all of you but in the same order in which you offered yourselves. The three ministers looked at each other. There was not a moment to lose. Away flew the crow, away ran the fox and away fled the leopard. The lion had a hearty laugh. He turned to the camel and said, You have proved to be my most loving and loyal friend. You shall live with me all your life. No harm shall ever come to you. The two lived happily together.